Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my office tour with you. I am so excited to finally get to share my new office. It has been a long time coming. So before I jump in, I just want to show you some footage of what it used to look like. So here's what it looks like in here. Literal, just hot mess storage room. We've just thrown junk in here. Yes, so it was basically a storage room and we were not using it. And this room was in, originally intended to be my office. So when, I, when we moved into this house, we painted the walls this lovely blue color and we were like all ready to make it an office. And then life just happened and two years later, we still hadn't done anything with it. So that was our project this past August and we did it and I bought literally almost every single new thing online. So luckily I'll be able to leave links below um, to everything that I've gotten to make this little room a functional and beautiful office space for me. So I'm just gonna show you a little tour, show you around the room and explain each little piece of it. And I hope you enjoy it. I just love this space. It's been such a joy to work in already and I'm just so grateful for it. So let's get into the tour. Okay, so here is the door to my office and this wall color is called Urban Mist by Bear. And actually on screen that is pretty accurate. It's a little less purple in person than it looks like right now, but um, like maybe a little lighter and brighter, but it's pretty this color right here is very accurate to what it actually looks like. Okay, I know it's hard to pick up paint colors on camera. So we're just gonna go around the room clockwise and I'll show you all the, all the different little pieces of it and I hope you enjoy. So the first thing over here is obviously a whiteboard and this is something that I have wanted in an office space for years. I'm so excited. I think it's like going back to when I was a little girl and I loved playing teacher and playing school, but um, for more <laughs> legitimate purposes. This helps me keep track of my mentorship program it helps me keep track of Etsy deadlines. It helps me keep track of all different things that I just want to be able to see visually. So I have this nice big whiteboard here. I will link it below along with everything else. Um, and then I have a little eraser and a little um, expo marker, a little dry erase marker here on this ledge. This is from Amazon. This clipboard here, I took all of the orders off of it for obvious reasons, but it usually holds all of my Etsy shop orders and this clipboard is my lifeline. It goes with me between the printing studio and here and it's what how I keep track of all of my orders and it's really like critical to me. Riley and I both know like where is the clipboard? We need the clipboard. So it's nice to have it. I just hung a little nail and um, we just put it on this little nail and the clipboard is just from Walmart a couple of years ago and I just put a little, a little sticker on it that says Blair Lamb Design Orders. Now I wanted this space to be multifunctional. I needed it to be a place where I could obviously work on the computer, work on my YouTube channel and editing, blog posts, emails, Skype with mentees, all that kind of stuff that's all computer related. But I also really needed a place that was large enough that I could package Etsy orders because if you have followed along then you know that I've sat on the floor and packaged like over 2,500 orders sitting on the floor and I have a bad back and it's been tough <laughs> to say the least. So, but the reason why I've done it on the floor is because we don't have a space big enough. You need a really big space to package orders. And um, so I'll get to this desk in a minute, but this over here on this left-hand side of my desk is really my Etsy shipping station. And this has been such a game changer. I cannot even tell you. It has literally changed my life. It makes everything so much faster and easier. So these little file holders are um, plastic and they are obviously attached to the wall and they are from the container store and they hold all of my shipping supplies. So I have two of those. And then down here is this pencil cup and this is also from the container store and it's from this brand called Poppin from the container store. And um, what was really fun was that since I was buying almost all of the different components to my new office online, I was using Ebates, which is a new discovery as of this year that I have absolutely loved. This video is not sponsored by them. It's something that I talk about to everyone I know all the time because it's amazing. You basically um, just click on a little button when you're checking out online and they put cash back into your account and then they cut you a check every few months. And it's been 
so awesome and I got so much money back from this office renovation because I bought everything online and I ended up being able to use that money to buy a few things um, that were not originally in the budget. Like I bought a diffuser, which I'll show you in a minute. The whiteboard wasn't originally in the budget, but I really wanted it. So anyway, I don't know. If you're not on Ebates, you need to get on Ebates. I have a link below and um, it gets you, I think, $10 into your account when you when you use it but if you're shopping online and you're not using ebates there's a little tangent but it was so much fun to be able to get a couple of extra things that i didn't wasn't originally able to get anyway okay moving on so i also have these little clear acrylic plastic shelves and um these are from amazon and they hold the marketing materials and the little stuffers that I put in my Etsy packages on one. And then the other one is my tape and my stapler and then my masking tape. I really wanted to have all of my Etsy shipping supplies completely off the counter so that I would be able to use the counter for folding garments and sorting them and, all, and packaging them and, and all that. And it has worked so well. I've packaged several orders already and it's just wonderful. Over here is just my postage scale. I've had this for a long time. It's from Amazon. And um, those prints I shared in a, another vlog. The actual art is a digital download that I bought off of Etsy, which I will link below. And then the frames, I had the art framed through Erin Condren, um, which I always have a $10 gift certificate, a link below to that as well. Now moving on to this desk. So this desk is very industrial. It's actually an industrial packing table that's used in factory settings and um, it is from a company called Uline, which some of you may be familiar with. Um, it's something that a lot of business people use for a lot of different things, but it is absolutely massive. It is so awesome and it is standing height, which is something that I really, really wanted. I did have to get the leg extenders down here on the bottom in order to make it standing height, otherwise it would be cut off there. You can see that ledge. Um, so we did purchase the leg extenders and we did purchase that shelf where those bins are in, which I'll show you in a minute. But um, it is the best desk. I was completely fine with it looking industrial because I needed a massive desk and actually the light gray is completely fine. You know, like of course a cute little wooden desk or white or something might be more trendy, but I didn't need trendy. I needed like highly functional and this is it. Then over here, here is my new Young Living diffuser. This is from the company Young Living where I get my oils oils from. I'm not a distributor. I don't sell it. I just really love it. And um, what I love about this diffuser in particular is, let me reach, when you turn it on, you can select all different light settings. So this is just like the full normal light. Then you can do dim. You can do the candle flicker, which is my absolute favorite because it's just so nice and cozy and then it diffuses oils out of the top here so um i'm going to turn it off because it does make like a low humming sound and i don't want that to be in the video but i am obsessed with that thing and it's so nice to have it going while i'm working sometimes i diffuse like peppermint and lemon which are very uplifting or grapefruit um, if i'm having a stressful day i'll do lavender or right now i have stress away in there um, a variety of different things I have my iMac here and then this glass stand is from Amazon. I love it because when I'm standing, it makes it, well, first of all, it's more ergonomic when I'm sitting, but also when I'm standing, it makes it so that I can work on the computer standing up, which has been so nice. I've noticed such a difference in my back and my neck and my shoulder pain because I'm just not sitting all day hunched over. I'm able to stand up and move around a little more. Eventually, I think it would be really neat to get one of those treadmills that are made for going under desks. Um, so maybe in the future I will invest in one of those, but not right now. I also have this little phone cradle. This is something that I um, absolutely love having and I like that it's adjustable. It makes it really easy to FaceTime with people, talk to people, have my phone handy, be able to see it. I just really like having my phone handy like that. So. I have one of those. I have also one of those in our guest room. I have one in our kitchen. I use them all the time. I really like it. So that is my desk area above the desk. Now let's talk about this chair. This chair was something that took me a while to choose because I needed the exact right chair. I needed something that was firm but supportive and I wanted it to be a higher height because the table is obviously a higher height. So a normal chair would not, would not work. 
um, a normal like lower desk chair and so this one has this nice ring at the bottom where you can put your feet on while you're sitting there and working and it's all adjustable the ring is adjustable the seat is adjustable the seat back is adjustable it's all adjustable and I find it very very comfortable and again I love that it's tall enough that I can sit and work at this higher desk with it it comes in a few different colors. I chose the navy blue, um, and I really, really, really like it. I actually love it. It's one of my favorite, probably my favorite desk chair I've ever had. Um, sitting for any amount of time is just not very comfortable to me, but this, I can sit in this chair for several hours and really get work done without being bothered, so I love it. Now under here, um, I bought these three bins from the container store. Don't mind my wire mess down there. I need to like use some twist ties um, or what are those called? The zip ties and clean that up, but I haven't done it yet. Um, I have my little trash can here and then in each of these, I just have extra things, um, different just things for Etsy. I won't go into all of it, but they it's definitely nice to have them in bins. I can pull the bins up to the top and sort and package and whatever I need. And then over here is my printer and I have, um, it is a scanner, but I don't use, I've like literally never used the scanner part. So I just have a paper tray on top with my shipping labels and then my normal paper as well. It makes it really easy. So that is my desk, which is obviously the most important part of my office. It is so multifunctional. I can sit at it. I can stand at it. I can package Etsy orders here. I can Skype. I can write. I can answer emails. It's just been so wonderful. And it's honestly also been so nice to have a massive space like this just in the home. We have used this for um, wrapping Christmas presents and laying out things. And it's just... Christmas presents, no, wrapping presents just in general. Um, although we do love Christmas, so I wouldn't be surprised, but no, being that it's mid-September, we, we're not wrapping Christmas presents yet. Anyway, it's nice to have a big space. So now moving over here, we have some curtains from Target and this lamp I love. It is from Wayfair. Um, it has this really lovely texture to it. And then I, what I really like is that there are two light bulbs in it and there are two pools and the pools at each top, each talk to they each um, turn on or off one of the light bulbs which is really nice so if I'm in here in the morning and I just want a little bit of light or late at night and I just want a little bit of light I can just have one on and then if I want both of them on I can also do that so I love that lamp it is from Wayfair I'm not sure if I already said that um, I will link it below I love it I just I just absolutely love it it's nice and sturdy um, the base is nice and sturdy and it's just been it's been so perfect. Again, I wanted something that was tall that could be used with this chair and could also be used while I was sitting over here and this absolutely fits the bill. Now we have everybody's favorite, which is this amazing rocker recliner chair. I started looking for a variety of different chairs and Riley and I really talked about like, what is this gonna be used for? What do I want? And I really ended up, I was like, I want a cozy place to read and journal and be able to just cozy up and so I was like what if we had it what if it was a rocker that would be so cool and he said well what if it was a recliner and I was like oh my gosh that would be even better so we started looking those up and a lot of these are um, created for nurseries for nursing moms and things like that but it works for me perfectly and actually this is this chair is from Wayfair as well and many of the reviews were from people who had them like in their living rooms and things because they're just so comfortable so the chair itself does go ahead and rock but then you can also go ahead and pull, which I love this. They have the handle for the um, recliner right in here and you just pull it and it reclines right up. And so I love in the morning coming in here and starting my day like with a cup of coffee and just sitting here and reading and journaling and oh, it's so nice. So um, this has been, this has been a new favorite. I absolutely love it. The pillow is from Ikea and this lovely floral blanket is from Erin Condren and it's really fleecy and fuzzy on the back side so I just love cuddling up with it in the morning. And then over here I have this little wooden bin that has my Bible and my journal and some like journaling supplies and devotionals and things in it. The um, little wooden crate is from an antique shop that I got years ago, so I can't link to that. Um, but it's a great little thing to have within arm's reach so that when I'm sitting up here in the chair, I have all of my supplies right where I need them. 
Then over here I have on this wall just one shelf, which might look a little bit funny, but the reason is is because this is kind of what the framing will look like. I've actually already filmed one video in front of this, so I wanted a place besides a big chair like this, which I've also filmed a few videos in this chair already, I wanted a place where I could sit and film um, YouTube videos, like sit down YouTube videos. And I've already filmed my July and August favorites here. So the idea is that I sit in the middle here and then on the sides you have like some nice greenery and a little candle flickering and some books, uh, which these are the series of unfortunate events books, which are some of my favorites, but I thought the edges were really cute. So that's why I chose them. And so it's just very simplistic. I didn't want anything too elaborate um, and I just wanted it to be nice and open. And something that's hard to capture on camera that people who come to our house always say is that you can't tell how tall your ceilings are on your videos. We have very tall ceilings and they follow the roof line. So all around the house, it just makes the house feel a lot bigger and the rooms feel a lot bigger because the roof is so tall. It's one of my very favorite features of our home. So when you walk in here, it really feels really, really open. I mean, you have this little shelf and all of that, and then it just, there's a nice big open wall. So, um, but it works perfectly for what I need it to work for and um, all of that. And I've just been filming my videos in front of that shelf in this chair. So I'm hoping to kind of change this out seasonally if I can. I was thinking about adding like little fairy lights for Christmas time going across and things like that, but um, I really liked the way that it framed when I filmed that one video. I thought it was like a nice clean background, easy to look at, but less boring than just like a, you know, more interesting than like just like a blank wall. So now over here is my closet, which Riley installed shelves in, and we have a lot of personal information it's where we keep like files and things, so I'm not going to open it up and show it, but it's it's just like a closet with crates and bins and things in it. And then last but not least, I got this little this little um, print from Erin Condren, and it's framed by Erin Condren as well that says Blair Lamb Design established 2016, which is when I started my Etsy shop the way that it is now. I actually had an Etsy shop before that in college, but it was called something else and it was totally, totally different stuff. So this is my new office space. It has been such a joy to pull together. It took months. I mean, we've been talking and planning and sketching this place out since literally January or February. And we really started talking about it heavily at the beginning of this summer and have finally, you know, gotten it to a place where it's like exactly what I want and need. It's so functional. It's so peaceful and calming in here. I did not want a lot of furniture. I didn't want a lot of stuff around. I didn't want, I just wanted it to be relaxing and just just calming and things like that. A couple of things I'm thinking about getting still are a little small round end table right here so I can put my cup of coffee there instead of having to put it up here. So that's one thing that I'm thinking about getting. I'm also thinking about getting an area rug in here to help absorb some of the sound. Um, I have been using a lavalier mic recently for my um, sit down videos and things like I used it for my bathroom must haves video and I also used it for my chili recipe video and I think the sound is a lot better because it can be so echoey in here but I still think that having a little bit more would help absorb the sound so I'm thinking about getting that we've also talked about and I think we might build a little screen um, a little sound absorbing screen that I can put like if I'm sitting here I can put it right here and put my camera right here just so that the sound doesn't bounce so much but you know, it's a work in progress. Everything is a work in progress. However, this has been such a needed change, so functional and beautiful, and I just, I'm just completely in love with it. So this is my new office space. Thank y'all so, so much for watching my new office tour. This is something that I've been so excited to share with you. I hope you enjoyed seeing around. Like I said, I'll try to link everything that I can below. And I really appreciate you watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I will see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.